The Center for Environment Justice, CEJ, has been in existence over a decade. CEJ works on five thematic issues, namely agriculture, extractive industries, climate change, water security, and environmental protection. The organization has more than five cooperating partners locally and abroad to support its work. CEJ is involved in research, capacity building, traditional and community engagement, policy dialogues, campaigns, information dissemination, awareness and sensitization, advocacy and lobbying for policy implementation in the country. All this is done with the inclusion of all relevant stakeholders such as children, men, women and youth, traditional leaders and policy makers among others. CEJ is aware that over 60% of land in Zambia is under traditional leadership. CEJ has projects in southern, central, Mochinga, Luapula, Lusaka and northwestern provinces. Due to the high rates of deforestation in the country, CEJ is looking forward to work in Chikankata district in southern province where deforestation rates are high. CEJ is looking forward to brainstorm on ideas on conserving existing forests and encourage regeneration where trees have been cut in Chikankata district. Forested areas will be targeted for honey production and link the business to off-tech markets. As part of the project, CEJ will equally conduct regeneration and growing of avocado to produce oil as byproduct of the plant. Ideas such as carbon trading will be explored on large pieces of forested areas as a way of promoting conservation of forest areas in the area. Under the carbon trade, the community is paid for conserving the forest over a period of time. Creating a community initiative trust is essential in implementing a carbon trade project. The trust receives funds on behalf of the community. In order to facilitate the establishment of a community initiative trust, CEJ shall develop a strategy on how to utilize the funds towards community development such as schools, health infrastructure, water, among others. As a result of carbon trading, Zambia was recently awarded 3 million US dollars to implement a project in Eastern Province. This money went directly to the community through a community initiative trust. Community forest conservation initiatives are important to ensure that communities are participating in forest conservation through carbon trading and other projects which CEJ and its partners shall implement in Chikankata district. Chieftainess Mwenda of the Tonga Basanja people will count the project by the Center for Environment Justice. So one day I won't need to go for quality, I won't need to go to visit the farm, farms, commercial farms, but we shall have trees just here and there. We grew that tree just around here, it breeds a finkubala. We were scared of finkubala at first, but then the people just came and started picking finkubala until my children, the whole home. Eat Finkubala except me. <laughs> and, yeah, I said, no, no. They are delicious. They are delicious, but I said, no, I'm sorry, Lord. <laughs> this one, uh, forgive me. So, very soon we'll have Finkubala, and we have many, many children coming in mm. to pick Finkubala, and even ladies coming to pick and sell some. Mm. But if we have such trees and grow them, even animals, they eat, they like eating the, you know, the fruit itself. Mm. We, we are ready. It was observed in Chikankata that due to the high rates of deforestation, certain forest-based products are now hardly seen. Wild animals, including snakes, are no longer found in Chikankata because of the bare land which has been left behind due to excessive extraction of trees in the area. Magi Mwabe is CEJ Executive Director. We have an event which we hold every year, uh, starting 2020, which we call the Environmental Protection Dialogue. Uh, it brings different stakeholders and uh, 
this October we had about 15 traditional leaders wow. and I'll be so happy that uh, next year you'll be there, Your Royal <laughs> Highness. <laughs> yeah, Thank this you. is a platform where we also learn from the traditional leaders okay. because as you know at least more than 80% of the land is in the hands of the um, traditional mm, leaders yes, okay. and for us when we are talking about issues of environment we also want to hear from you mm -hmm. because you are living in these places you understand the issues and also your participation is very key to mm. us Ricky Kanaluka works as head of programs at the Center for Environment Justice so under these carbon mechanisms developed countries have released uh, billions and billions of mm -hmm. uh, dollars to provide as an incentive for communities in uh, poor countries like Zambia so that we are able to conserve our forests but then they come with uh, 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 benefits so if the more carbon that you, you are able to capture the more they give you a credit mm -hmm. so if you have got uh, big land which is still covered by, by forests you are able to receive those credits mm -hmm. as, a, as a benefit for keeping those, those forests. During a meeting held by CEJ in Chikankata district, local community members made their contributions on the forest conservation project. Of course, Kamba <laughs> Jiwe yimbojiri jipati ka pati ngato yanda we babu sengwe sengwe bwanu wamba kuti hena imbeo e hangwe e buli himoli wamba hena iri nesingi dwagare wobo sena kumbija kuti ngaya kubola naswebo batulira ngautabe kuti nenga twabija nyika mutajisa kutalira nanyo bo mutabi wanu rigisi Hey, hangi tuwe. Samwe ya wamba uti ya kubola. Muji moche ya kubola. Wamba uti wangu hangi umasenayo. Getu kwa hakuja na mburi ya mburi wa mahi mabugu. Nyo gita uti. Aba abantubo unse kuba gila kuba gita uti. Jisumpuge. Ya ulombo ya uti. Uti ukoba mburi mazuwa mula di forest afro. Bantuba kari kuyo au gonka isamu. Jikoke gonke. Nyo potu ya ndila eno. Mwena mwuri wamba. Chito unka mburi mwuri wa namuya. Mwazo wa forest. Isamu te. Jiko ya unse miru rwega cheni. Ega mana. Mulonga sunu gano tawuji wodi imenda. Kambo ati mantu watu yusamu vaka yitichani. Vaka yiku nka vaka liga kuyo. Inokulo mbo ya kuti. Mbutu wabola wawa. Kwa jogera kutula unki. Natu katonde. Mungu tuke mbutu wala iliru wa unu. Mbutu wa terera mbutu wa hauti. Mungu tuke mbutu wa mbuli. Mbo. Natu yangeno. Natu yusamu mujisi jonsa. Amo hanga na 20. Mnzowe. Amo 20. Amo 20. Topika mizi na atuli 100. Facilitators like Government Center for Environment Justice, they'll bring a, 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 an independent company to come and verify the amount of carbon every time that you have, which and give you a certificate, which we call a verified carbon standard certificate. As a community, once you have that certificate, then you can sell the carbon. But if you break your own rules, then that certificate will be suspended. <laughs> so it's partners like Center for Environment Justice and, and their partners including government, that are going to ensure that they set up what they call forest management guidelines according to the laid down government guidelines of community forest management. As we do such a process, we would also want to raise awareness among ourselves and the community members why it is important to preserve the trees. I think we have also seen 
uh, Chichikankata a long time ago had a lot of trees. We mm -hmm. could harvest a lot of, uh, you know, mushrooms, mm -hmm. the caterpillars, and also uh, benefit from the trees in terms of medicinal uh, properties. But if you see now, uh, I think a number of trees are gone. And uh, I'm sure we are able to experience how much the impact it is having on the environment, uh, impact on human, and just impact on nature. Through the use of timber and non-timber forest products, CEJ is delighted that this project shall bring about income generation for the local communities and this shall improve their livelihoods and the standard of living in the area. CEJ, our environment, our responsibility.